Boom, it's your boy, Daily Dust Los. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog, man. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, man. I got some exciting news, man, for the channel. Got some, we're gonna switch it all up, man. As y'all know, been working on the Forerunner, got the roof nest up there, and just uh, doing a little bit of upgrades here and there. Now we're gonna take our camp into the next level, man. We're gonna see if we can improve our base camp, and can we make the ultimate off-road trailer? Let's see if we can make that happen today. All right guys, so as you guys can see, we got the trailer, we got the base, right? So what we plan on doing with this is really improving our storage, what we are able to carry, and just really make the amenities of camping a little bit better. So got a lot of plans, but I'm gonna kind of give you guys a breakdown of what it is, how it started, and we're gonna start a series on building the ultimate off-road trailer. And we're gonna start off with our little manly off-road trailer. Pretty interesting, manly. I've never actually heard of the brand. I think it's a 2013 is from what I understood when I purchased it. So super excited to kind of try it out and take it off roading, take it camping and whatnot. So let's kind of go ahead and give you a walk around and let's see you guys see what it does have and kind of tell you guys what I plan on changing to it and see if we can build the ultimate off-road trailer. All right guys, so as you guys can see, what we do have is it does have the ball hitch on it. So I am planning on moving to some sort of articulating hitch. And really that's just to make it better off-road, to be, let it articulate, move, do what it needs to do. And so it doesn't cause stress on the forerunner, it doesn't pop off the ball hitch and then put us in a bigger situation or worse situation than what we need to be in. So that's kind of an upgrade we plan on doing with that. Super stoked. And now it does have this empty space right here. So I am maybe planning on putting like a tongue box maybe some sort of electronics, uh, electronics, some sort of on onboard electricity, right? Maybe a solar generator, battery, and then just have the ability to charge the phone, the laptops, the drone, and maybe a refrigerator, onboard water pump, you know, be able to take showers. That's, that's kind of what we're looking for, right? For those long excursions, those long times away from home and having those amenities of being able to shower, eat, and just really enjoy it without having to go to a hotel, anything like that, right? Because that's kind of what we want to do is just be away from all that stuff. So super excited about that. Now, I'll tell you guys, it does have the Tapui uh, tent on here. I think it's like the, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it starts with the K, it's like Kam Kamahau. I might be pronouncing it wrong, I'm pretty sure. Put it in the comments on how to pronounce it correctly. But go ahead, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna end up putting the roof nest back up, up here. So super excited about that. Now. It does have these rooftop mounts here, or these rooftop tent mounts. So I am planning on maybe removing these and having someone or finding a way to manufacture manufacture um, what is makes some taller ones. And really, I think I would love to put maybe the action tracks up here, maybe the high lift jack, maybe a roto pack or something, or you know, just things of that sort. Um, or even mount an awning to this. That'd be cool. Maybe like a 270. I don't know. Now, other than that. As you guys can see, it does have some old KO2s on, or KM2s, I should say. Pretty beefy, but I do want to switch the hubs over to like maybe a Toyota style hub so that we can maybe get a matching set from the SCSs on the 4Runner on here. That would be super awesome. Um, but that's kind of what we got going on with the setup. It is just an axle, an axle suspension on here. So this is going to be my first time actually having a trailer of this sort and just kind of testing it on the trail. So super excited. About to see how this feels but that's kind of suspension like i said these are 15s definitely going to have to or 15 inch uh, wheels the tires are what two let me see so it's a 33 inch tire is essentially what it is can we maybe bump it up to a 34 35 you know give us a little bit more ground clearance so and it does have these cool fenders on here they are bed lined so be able to do great with that now other than that, we'll go ahead and move to the back and I'll kind of show you guys the back of it. All right, awesome guys. As you guys can see, here's the back. So it does have this cool little tonneau cover on here. It is uh, buttoned up. It is pretty watertight. I did wash it before we made the video to double check. So you guys can see now it does button up here. Now, if I do want, we are able to take this off. But um, what would you guys think if we uh, found someone or if somebody could fabricate us a lid for it and maybe we could put uh, like a roof rack on it and maybe we could even carry canoes, right? If we were able to lift the roof nest up higher, and then put canoes on there, that'd be the ultimate trailer. So that's kind of like what the plan is, kind of what we want to do with it. But that's that's where we're definitely down the road. But 
Now this does come off completely, which is pretty, pretty neat. Now, like I said, this is a used trailer. Um, so we did get an extra latch, or I did get a new latch for it. So we're gonna have to replace that. But as you guys can see, pretty simple. Door here, the spare's in there. As you guys see, very, very easy, very easy to drop down. It is pretty big in here, but uh, we plan on maybe finding a way to get some sort of bed slide or something to kind of pull it out. That'd be pretty awesome. We could get it to roll out, have our kitchen on here, being able to do everything. Like maybe the kitchen here, have some sort of drawer system over here, right? So that's kind of the plan. That's kind of where we're at with that, but pretty, pretty simple, man. Just got little things to fix. Like I said, it is used. Got a pretty great deal on it, but uh, super excited. You guys can see very simple trailer, man. Really excited to bring it to the channel and really see if we are able to build the ultimate off-road rig trailer, I guess, right? We already have the rig, so now can we do it with the trailer? So that's really the plan for this. So stick around and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think we should do, maybe things what we shouldn't do, right? That's really what I'd like to know is, you know, this is my first time having any sort of trailer, especially an off-roading trailer. So put it in the comments what you guys think we should do. Should we lift it higher? Should we put an awning on here? Should we find a way to put onboard air? Um, not onboard air, but onboard water, be able to take showers. What kind of awning should we put on here? Put it in there, all in the comments, man. I definitely want to know because like I said, this is my first time having anything of this sort. So I'm super excited to bring you guys along this trip and see if you guys can help me build the ultimate off-road trailer. So with that being said, this is a very short video. So I appreciate y'all sticking around, checking the channel out. So for those that are new to the channel, y'all know what to do, man. Look around, see if you guys find anything more interested in the channel if you do. Take a chance, subscribe and let me know. And for those that are returning subscribers, I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate the love to anyone that just stops by and checks the channel out. But those returning, appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the support. Checking out the channel, hitting the like button for me makes a big, big difference. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. But y'all have a great one. So on three, two, one, follow your path.